and welcome to a nation of expert gaming videos today we are doing the final episode of storage's road to glory and hopefully my kind of uh, commentary is going to be okay what i've went and done is as the kind of commentary uh, the mic was on the other side of my desk um i've decided to bring it closer to me so i don't have to move it all the time or i don't have to move the screen so what i've done is i've got my three monitors and my my mic was originally on the left hand side uh, next to my left hand monitor um, my big monitor in the middle had really just around it my webcam on the left which was on, kind of on the right side of my left monitor uh, and then in front of me I had my phone in like a kind of like a holder and uh, really the speakers behind it so what I've done now is as I use the left hand monitor as it's the medium size one as a kind of internet browser kind of uh, monitor I use the big monitor for the editing and then I, dis I disattach the uh, video clip to my right hand monitor and basically use that as kind of like the preview screen so I have more room to edit so what I've gone and done is now instead of having my webcam on the left and my mic completely on the other side I've decided to bring them all over split a little bit between my uh, big monitor and my little monitor on the right purely because then I don't miss much of the screen I can see like I can see literally just behind it um, so that's pretty cool and hopefully it's it's like in the ability that I can kind of just face the camera and then talk and it'll be fine or I can just start talking and the mic's in the kind of distance to hear me and it's facing me so it saves like do, when you go into a mic and you go sideways on you can kind of hear the voice uh, coming from that kind of side and I think I don't know if that's if that is the case as I can't really hear it amazingly on the kind of playbacks but I, I just think it's a psychological thing for me um, to think that people can hear that and I prefer them to hear it front on so you can uh, hear it so as you saw there we went ahead and went and played Scotland in the groups um, I believe we did draw to them I'm, I'm pretty sure then I went ahead and went onto the bench against Egypt so there we go Welbeck scored the first goal but like I said uh, hopefully it will work fine it looks pretty okay on the kind of uh, audio that's running as we uh, do this so hopefully it'll be fine if not I'll just like uh, upper the kind of tempo of the uh, audio if if it is kind of a bit quiet but to be honest as long as I speak clearly and I speak loudly it should be quite fine so yeah let's let's carry on through the episode so we have got the World Cup it is a big big task it is the World Cup of 2014 um, hopefully we'll come it will come to that soon and I would definitely be doing videos on that when that actually happens but we uh, I think we did we beat in Egypt I'm, I completely lost my train of four against Egypt then um, if I quickly just check I, I can't really see them so I, I know we've won one now I'm pretty sure we won and we have got Denmark now I, I believe am I correct I'll just wait for the team to kind of crack on uh, do we have Denmark yes no maybe as you see I'm up front Cleverly is behind me um, it is Denmark is it it is indeed so with who they got they've got some decent players I'm not too sure of hardly any of them I probably would know them if I put a face to them but looking at their names straight away I can't pick anyone out no but I would I would pick them out if I saw a face to them on FIFA or something and if I saw their card I'd know who they actually was but I, I, I have no clue of them but we uh, this video is actually only like ten and a half minutes long which was quite surprising because I thought it was like a 20 minute video to be honest but um, we did get substituted quite a bit which which was quite annoying because I wanted to play most of the World Cup but there you go storage being the absolute tank he is and just firing in the 48th minute a beautiful uh, left footed strike into the back of the net to put us 1-0 up against Denmark so it was a great ball from I believe Frank Lampard or something like that and then the keeper had no chance of that it, seem, it seems like that's uh, storage's um, signature move at the minute it, it pretty much and what a ball that is hopefully he runs on to it and unfortunately doesn't get to it but uh, we do we do end up uh, in the 90th 1-1 um, and actually, so that might that goal that might have been actually a one-one. I'm not too sure. I, I completely missed that goal if they scored because uh, I must have missed it on editing then because I swear I didn't see them score. But um, yeah, it seems like Sturridge's kind of signature goal is the kind of cutting on the left and just power it into the bottom left or right hand corner. It's one of the ones that is the really easy goal to score. And I must admit, I must have scored loads of them by uh, now of just them kind of goals. So. It's it's pretty decent. We do score in the World Cup, and oh yeah, so it must we must have missed it in editing them because it was in the 83rd minute, and my goal was after that. 
So we go ahead into the, uh, I think it's the last, uh, what's it called, qualifying for England against USA. And we have started the match with 18 minutes in, going 2-0 up. Absolutely beautiful play by Milner and Welbeck. And we're going to the 50th minute. Gerrard um, missing a penalty, but then Welbeck in the 51st. Then Young in the 53rd. We are absolutely destroying the USA. Again, 5-0, Young again. Two goals each. Uh, so we've got Welbeck with two, Young with two, and we have um, Milner with one. Then we go ahead and go against France, and I believe this is kind of like a 60 uh, quarterfinal or something like that. I, I believe it is a quarterfinal, to be honest. I didn't see the loading screen quick enough then. But we're against France no matter what, and I'm in the right mid position, so I'm not too happy about that. I prefer my striking role, but they do have uh, Welbeck up front, in fact. Uh, me and Young on the wings, so what can we do? We, we, need to, we need to win this. We need to get this goal, and we need to get it sorted. And we need to get into the final of the uh, of the World Cup. So they have got in Loris in that Ribery is going uh, on the. I believe they use um yeah they're using a four three three. So Menes is on the right, Ribery is on the left. Uh, Benzema up front. Um, they have uh, M V A Tulalan in centre mids uh, with another one as well, which I don't know the pronunciation of his name. But in the third two in the thirty second minute, there we go. Storage getting the goal. Beautiful weaving in and out of the play, uh, of the defender, and that is just a beautiful goal again by Sturridge. He has been the absolute tank of this World Cup. Um, I must admit, Sturridge is not the top goal scorer at the minute, but hopefully he will um, join the top goal scorers in another goal soon. But look at this! Oh, that was good defending by I believe Small, and it looks I want to say I don't think that's Rio or uh, or Evans or anyone like that. So it must be Small, but it was great defending back to heart. Hart probably commanding him in the, bo in, in the box, trying to get him out. But as you see, we are still running. But what's that? Sturridge down? What? He best not be injured. Sturridge in the 90th minute is lying on the floor in agony. Can he get back up though? That is the question. We need Sturridge back up. We can't fatally lose him for the next round. This is the World Cup. I was definitely worried when I saw all the injuries happening. I was worried about this happening. But it seemed like Sturridge got back up. And he is moving again, so that's all good. Hopefully, it's not going to be a, um, a kind of uh, World Cup ending injury. Hopefully, we can get back to it as well. So, in the next round, we actually did go one up and win the match through Sturridge's beautiful goal. And he is in the raid 84 now. But as you see, we're in the semi finals, I believe this is, against. Um, oh, no, in fact, we are in the final, in fact. We're against Italy. And as you see there. We have missed a penalty. I was going ballistic at this screen. They never put me in the final. I wasn't happy. So France, I did win the, the semi-finals technically for them. But they did get a red card, Italy. I thought that might mean we'd get back into it. But no, Balotelli scores in the, 70, in the 61st minute, 82nd minute come. Then another goal by Italy and we lose the World Cup. I was absolutely fuming. I could not believe they left me out of the World Cup final. I played the semi-final. I played pretty much most of the World Cup. I missed two games, and then I missed that final. I was I was absolutely raging. I uh, equalised it with Denmark to send us through into the qualifying, uh, into the quarterfinals, and then I uh, scored as a goal to get into the final. And then what do they do? They drop me out of the team. I was oh I, I wasn't even I wasn't even going to play this match. I was literally going to just sim this match and just end it there. Purely because of the rage that was happening, um, the fine. I, I just wanted to play the final. I, I stayed up late for this match. Um, I did all the World Cup, and then they subbed me. I was not happy, but we did want to try and win uh, the third place of the World Cup. So we do go into the contenders match um, for third and fourth. I think it is. I think it's third and fourth. Um, I'm pretty sure that was the final that we lost. It might have been the semi-final. I'm still raging, but look at that. That is just unbelievable. But I believe that might have been the final. To be honest, it might it might have been the semis and I was just raging. But uh, I've still been raging anyway because I could have helped us with that match. It probably wouldn't have been 5-4-0, whatever it was, um, that it was if I was on the pitch. Just because I kind of commanded a bit more. I know, obviously, the, the defence is still the same. But I think I would have kind of helped, helped play the ball a bit more, uh, especially in the right mid role. But as you see here, we're 1-0 down in the 76th minute. Sturridge just gets the ball off him, and he nails that in the back of the net. So we get 1-1, one, one, 
He's brought it back up. Can we get third in the World Cup? Who knows? Let's see if we can do it. So we're coming up to the next clip and pretty much the end of the video. So hopefully you do enjoy this. Uh, and uh, I believe I do... 90th minute, there we go, look. And um, we go into penalties, I believe. I believe the uh, second, the third and fourth half of the next video did not do anything for us, so I just went straight into uh, penalties. So hopefully you enjoyed this series. If you have, remember to leave it a like. And also, if you have any other questions, comment them in the uh, in the comment section below. Subscribe for more content, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.